Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Memorial Day is an excellent time to donate to veterans organizations who serve this country's military heroes every day. But as a donor, how can you be sure your money is actually going to veterans? Because as it turns out, veterans charities reportedly waste hundreds of millions of dollars in donations each year, often prioritizing executive salaries and administrative costs over the vets themselves. Some somewhat fake charities, if you want to call it that, will spend up to 90% of their donated funds on overhead costs, either due to corruption or pure inefficiency. Charities for Vets, a prominent nonprofit organization dedicated to identifying such fraudsters, estimates $1 billion were given to such organizations between the years 2019 and 2021, according to publicly available tax returns. For example, the organization reports that in 2020 alone, the Disabled Veterans National Foundation spent 93% of its $27.6 million budget on overhead. Another organization called Help the Vets, which raised $20 million to allegedly assist vets with grants, medical care, and suicide prevention, reportedly gave 95% of contributions to, the Neil Paul, to Neil Paulson, the charity's founder. Many other groups are guilty of this problem, prompting the Federal Trade Commission to issue an official warning last November. Charity for Vets, a project of the Robert Alexander Mercer Veterans Foundation, facilitates effective donations to good groups, which fall into one of three categories on their website. Highly recommended, recommended, or not recommended. Recommended groups are found to use at least 75% of its donations on what is needed to be recommended, whereas highly recommended groups use at least 85% of their budgets on vet in their programs. Their website also examines other aspects of veterans groups, including offshore investments and insider relationships. And now they're launching a huge advertising campaign to inform Americans of these scammers. Instead of running ads to ask for money, this group is running ads to show donors and veterans how budgets are being used. And these digital and television ads will be aired across major cable news stations all over the U.S. The campaign is being led by retired United States Marine Corps Colonel Peter Metzger, who carried the nuclear football for President Ronald Reagan for more than two years, and who's looking to bring awareness to this problem. So joining us now to discuss is retired United States Marine Corps Colonel Peter Metzger himself, the chairman of the advisory board for Charities for Vets. Colonel, thanks for being here tonight. Glad to have you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Okay, so first, before we get into it tonight, I just have to say thank you, A, for your service, and also, how cool was it that you were trusted with a nuclear football for Reagan? Is there anything declassified that you can tell us about that experience? Yeah, I used to tell people in the football there was a tuna sandwich in a Time magazine, but yeah, it's still highly classified, but it was a great honor. I got to be in personal contact with the president for uh, nearly a daily basis, and Mrs. Reagan, and I was a very young officer, but it was a great experience. What a fun thing. When I was reading through that caught my attention, I thought to myself, I have to ask him about that. But of course, now we have to go to the more dour news. Of course, you're trying to help people through it, but scammers or at least better charities that don't do exactly what they're purported to do. And that's a yeah. huge issue. So I was wondering when you were building up this database on highly recommended all the way to not recommended and looking through some of the numbers, were you even shocked at just the amount of, again, I'll just use the term here, I guess, but scams that are run through these various charities? I was absolutely floored by it, Kara. As a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's I, in your opening, you talked about a billion dollars a billion dollars in two years was given to charities that are not recommended by our factual database. That's a lot of money, a billion dollars. And there's some very notable, highly recommended, not recommended, and recommended ones on there. And by going to our website, the very generous American public can, in five minutes, for free, see where the money goes and what a good place to give it. And what a perfect day to talk about it on today. No, you're exactly right. And some of these charity groups, and I guess I hesitate to use the term, but are they often run by veterans or those who just want to grift off of veterans themselves? What have you seen in some of your research on this? Well, I think the uh, it's f fewer veterans and more people who play on the American public sympathy for wounded and disabled veterans. And there are so many wonderful causes. It takes five minutes to look at our website figure out who the good ones are and get rid. All we're trying to do is redirect the money so the veterans who deserve it can get it. It's really very simple. 